Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Walmart exclusive Four Spirit Yoda from the Star Wars Black Series. Now this guy is pretty cool, but before we take a closer look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. So here it is. Um, it's actually kind of unique for a figure in the Black Series because it's got this nice blue packaging, which I think looks really awesome. It's got a window here on the front to display the figure, and then an image that's kind of highlighted in blue down here in the corner, which I think looks really cool. Flipping it over onto the back, it's got that same image repeated again, as well as a brief description. And of course, if you'd like to read that, you can go ahead and just pause the video. So anyway, uh, pretty cool packaging, but let's go ahead and take a look at the figure itself here. Now Yoda stands at, let's see, um, about three and an eighth inch, uh, inches tall. So he's pretty much right in scale with all of your other Black Series figures, and he does come with one accessory and that is his cane. As you can see there, it is nicely detailed and it's done in a kind of pearlescent plastic which I think is appropriate for the ghost figure. And as far as articulation on this figure goes, um, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Um, up in his head he's got a ball peg which works nicely. Um, pretty much all of the posing you would want to do out of that. He's got ball hinge shoulders which do have a nice range. Then he's got double jointed elbows which is crazy not very many black series figures have those and then he's got a hinged wrist with a swivel so the arm articulation is a bit of a mixed bag um, on one hand he's got the double jointed elbows which are amazing uh, but then he doesn't have a bicep swivel and kind of the problem that that causes is that it's very difficult to bring his arm across his body you basically can't do it because there's no way to swivel the arm around so while it's very posable, it's also not very posable. It doesn't pose very naturally, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, I wish they had just done, you know, kind of a, a hinged elbow with a swivel there. <clears throat> Would have been a much more effective way, I think, to articulate this figure. Um, that being said, you know, he does pretty much just stand there though, so not a huge deal. He does have a single ball peg here at the waist. Pretty nice range of motion there, about as much as you'd need. Then he does have T-jointed hips with a nice range. Um, it is a little bit limited by the um, cloth, but not too bad. Then here in the legs, as you can see, there's just a thigh swivel. So he doesn't actually have knee articulation. And then here at his feet, he's got hinges with swivels. So uh, kind of a mixed bag. Um, in some aspects, he's very articulated. And in others, he's not really articulated at all. Um, so very strange. But overall, I do think that I, I really like this figure. Um, I don't actually own the regular release of this Yoda figure, but I did get really excited for this one uh, because I thought they did a really nice job with the overall aesthetic. So I know this is going to be kind of a point of contention for a lot of people, um, just because most people would want a figure that is all translucent. As you can see, his legs are mostly translucent, and it kind of fades up as it goes through his body. Uh, personally, I think this looks more accurate to the movie, um, and I think it looks better on a shelf than a completely transparent figure. Um, one other thing that I really like is that it matches the Obi-Wan figure, which I think looks really cool. I also like this figure a lot, and it did that same kind of thing where it fades in as it goes up the figure. Uh, so overall, I personally like this figure a lot, uh, although I could see where you personally may not like this figure. Um, it's kind of a personal preference whether or not you think this figure looks good or not. Um, I definitely see where people are coming from with the completely translucent figures, even though I personally like this one better. So it's definitely one that I think some people will absolutely need and others will um, definitely hate. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below and I guess I'll see you later.